Hey guys, Impact here. So, um, as soon as Yasuo's skill set came out, I've been getting messages from a lot of people asking me if I think Yasuo has what it takes to be played as a support, now that the role gets a lot more gold. So you know what? I decided to make a video out of it. Well, let's take a look at his kit. His passive gives him a shield that builds up the more you run, which could hypothetically be used to withstand some damage when you decide to get close to your enemies, and let's face it, you'll have to. Your melee. His Steel Tempest thrusts in a straight line with not a lot of range, so poking from afar is out of the question. If you build up your Q stacks though, you'll have a Whirlwind on your third Steel Tempest strike and its range is a lot better. His Wind Wall is actually what made me go like, hmm, I've got to give this a try. It blocks turret shots, auto attacks, skill shots and all sorts of stuff. It's actually pretty damn useful, but it doesn't last long and has a rather crappy cooldown. It's a really awesome ability to use when tower diving for example though. It can also help you out with stand the poke coming from a siege comp when trying to defend your turrets. What I love the most about this is the lulls potential, or L factor if you wish. You can use it on your minion wave denying CS from your enemies while spamming laugh. If only Yasuo laughed like Nunubot though. Sweeping Blade just adds up to the L factor. Not that it's useful in lane, mind you, but jumping from minion to minion with seemingly no purpose whatsoever is incredibly fun as well as annoying to watch, I'd imagine. It would allow you to kite junglers, reposition yourself or even allow you to chase someone down, but I don't see how this could be used in any significant way by a support player during the laning phase. And last, we have the last breath. It pretty much extends the knockup duration on airborne enemies while increasing your armor penetration based on your enemy's bonus armor. To use it, your enemies need to be knocked up first. Alright, with that being said, let me just start by saying that Yasuo is incredibly fun to play, even as a support. His kit really distinguishes him from every single champion in League of Legends. Something that I also wanted to try out was the double gold income items. As you may or may not know, you can only pick one of them after patch 3.14, but there is one exception, the Average Blade. Since your passive actually doubles your crit chance, I decided to give it a try and increase the gold I was getting even further. The build that I went for in all of the games that I'm showing you in this video was Face of the Mountain, Ruby Sidestone, Average Blade and Blade of the Rune King. So, should you pick Yasuo up? The answer is a resounding yes. He's incredibly fun to play, he brings a lot of utility to the table, as well as uniqueness. Just please, for everything that is sweet and awesome, leave him out of my bottom lane. While his kit grants a lot of utility to every team, it is in no way reliable enough to use in the standard bottom lane. Your only CC isn't reliable at all since you need to hit 3 Steel Tempests in order to actually cast it. Besides, Janna can already do that, so why would you pick Yasuo? One thing that I noticed was that his ult can be cast on enemies that have been knocked up by someone else's knockup effect. I can see him work pretty well in teams with Malphite, Alistair or anyone else that can actually knock people up. Ziggs has been picked up in competitive play pretty often lately. I could see teams go for a tankier Yasuo on those comps and use Zig's Satchel Charge to set up last breath ganks. There's so much potential on this new guy. The wall is so incredibly powerful and this passive will cause plenty of headaches. I definitely recommend you guys pick him up. However, if you do decide to take him as a support, don't say that I didn't warn you. And that's all for this video guys. It was a little different than what I usually go for, I know. If you liked the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up and share it with your friends. As always, feel free to follow me on Twitter and Facebook, subscribe to my YouTube channel and Base Desires channel, and thank you so much for watching. And until next video, good luck, have fun, and have a great day.